So I think it's funny that our last episode is called Record Yourself. And <laughs> we have not, in fact, recorded ourselves in over three months or about three months. I'm not very good at monthly math, but yeah, it's been about three months. So it's great that I guess we did the same thing last summer, did not even f consider that. And then rather than just say, hey, we're going to take a break and then take a break and feel good about doing the thing that we were supposed to do, we instead went, ah, we'll see you next week and then procrastinated for three months. And so we took a break, but felt guilty and bad the whole time. Very clever. Yeah, we're, we figured it all out. Yeah. Well, okay, but we're back so we can feel good again. What have you been up to? There, or how do you want to do this? Because we got about three months. I can hardly remember what I've done in the last three months. So, yeah. I don't want to do a first day back in school, tell us what you did over the summer kind of thing, because that's pretty boring. Yeah. I just want to ask you some stuff about what you're doing. Because I know you were here very recently, like a few weeks ago. And you were on... I would describe it as a drawing bender. You a drawing bender. <laughs> had created this challenge where you had to sketch someone or something every day and give it to them. Uh, I just want you to know you, you did a sketch of me, which is in the living room, which I was, you know, your ability to draw and do art type stuff is like old news and who cares. But even then it was like, wow, that's, actually really awesome and then you gave something to two of our neighbors like one sketch to the neighbors across the street and one to the neighbors across the other street and they've stopped me on the sidewalk all of them like a couple times and been like that was so amazing what your brother drew for us i feel like i'm getting all of the social credit from the thing that you did which is nice but yeah, that's fine. <laughs> just wh what were you doing there? What, tell tell me about that a little bit, because I never quite got the full story. Okay, well, I was going to your house of Portland for a week, or a little over a week, and I've always I've always brought sketchbooks with me when I've gone places before, but I hardly ever actually stick to it. I'll bring it and do one sketch, get scared, and then not do it anymore or get busy or whatever but yeah i decided maybe you know i would try to make a video out of it or something so i i tried coming up with some different materials and stuff that i would i've learned a bit over the years on what is doable when you're traveling and what is not at all so i brought a very limited amount of stuff and it was stuff that i've enjoyed using at, at like figure drawing mm -hmm. class and stuff like that uh, so it's very portable. I didn't really intend to give all the art away. That's what I ended up doing is I did at least one sketch a day and I gave it away to the person or the, the recipient of whatever thing I was sketching. So I drew a picture yeah. of you. I gave it to you. I had completely forgot about that one. I don't know <laughs> if that makes it mean less, but yeah, I forgot about that one. Um, I drew a picture of somebody's house. I gave it, or I put it in their mailbox, or I slipped it in the door. I drew somebody else's. She uh, said she cried, garden. by the way, so that's fun. <laughs> I'll get to that. Uh, I drew a person. I drew a food truck, uh, truck, and I gave it to the the cook oh, there. Which and which I truck drew... was that? I didn't know about that one. You didn't know about that one. Mm -hmm. We were at you were at the same table as me. It was. Uh, uh, there's like a million name, people here. It was at the the asylum. Mm. Um, was was it the truck? I can't. I don't really remember the names of any of the trucks. Well, I don't remember it either. But anyway, I did a food truck <laughs> and then I gave it to the cook, and I did a drawing at the airport and gave it to the guy because I, I was drawing a guy and then I gave it to him. And well, I wasn't planning on giving them away, but then. At the airport before flying over there, I did this drawing of a guy. And I was like, and I had our other brother recording me, 
thinking I'd make a video out of it. I was like, well, you can't make an art video sketching people and not get a reaction. So right. I guess I have to go show him. And then I think mom or something was saying, oh, you should give it to him. I'm like, eh, all right. So I gave it to him and, you know, he's happy about it. And was like, oh, I forget that people like art. You know, I am around a lot of artists. So art is just kind of, you know, throw it yeah. away or turn it in for work or whatever. You forget that people actually like it. So after that one, I that's when I stumbled on the, you know, sort of challenge. It's like, I wonder if I could give it, give every single piece away while I'm on the trip. And that would kind of free me up from, you know, having to make really good art and instead just kind of have <laughs> some fun. And it's something I never yeah. really done before, you know, sketching on the spot and then giving it to people. That's a that's kind of a scary thing to do for a, sure. you know, a shy person. Uh, so yeah, that, ended up being kind of the goal is to do at least one and then give it to the person. And that was, it was fun. Not all of them turned out great. We went to the zoo one day and I did some drawings of animals. Didn't have anyone. I mean, I wasn't going to give it to the rhino. Uh, so I, I left them in places in the park. Oh, I have no cool. idea who found them. They probably just picked them up and threw them away, but whatever. It was still I kind of freeing to just, you know, do something and then, yeah. get rid of it uh, it yeah, is fun. weirdly it's a little bit hard to describe being on the receiving end because sometimes you will see a photo of yourself and that is pretty normal and whatever but to get a, a drawing of yourself i mean it has literally never happened to me before that i'm i can remember uh, and to see something done by a real artist like yourself is real artist. weirdly personal and very touching. I mean, thank you for drawing me. Like I, you gave me one, and it's I. I would not if you had said, "Hey, I'm going to draw you." I would be like, "Okay, cool, whatever." But there is something really personal about it and really kind of amazing. And I understand why the neighbors were so blown away with it. I mean, they really were. They, I don't, I don't even talk to some of them very often, but they, they stopped me on the sidewalk. We're like, this was amazing. Well, that makes me very happy. And I think that was the thing I, I kind of remembered. Like, oh, people like art. And I don't really understand how it is that you can see a picture of yourself and you don't care. But you can see a, yeah. you know, an okay drawing of yourself. And weirdly, it's, you like it. And, and I, don't, I don't understand that reaction. I mean, if someone did a drawing of me, I'm sure I'd feel the same way. But I mean, I don't, I don't really understand what's going on in the human brain when we see a drawing mm -hmm. of ourselves or, or something we like. Why does it differ so much from a photograph or, you know, I don't know. Uh, I but think it was it cool is... to experience that. Yeah, I, I think that one of the core parts of art is the fact that it feels personal. And obviously drawing something of someone and giving it to them is very directly personal. But even the, the music that I listen to, that I really connect with... Uh, you know, the art that I've seen, visual art, the stuff that I really love, it it doesn't, I, I don't love something because it seems like it's really, really well executed. I mean, that's neat to see, but, you know, AI art can sort of do that now to some degree, or, you know, you just see something that's like, you know, wow, that took a lot of talent or that took a ton of time, whatever. But when it captures something that feels personal, even if it's not something you can really explain or say out loud, like uh, there is something about this image that I just connect with and it makes me feel something. That's what I really, I think that's what everyone loves about art. You know, their favorite music is not just, oh, listen to this song. The musicians are really good. It's listen to the song like this means something to me. I connect with this on some ineffable level. Yeah. And that was a good thing to see again. And it, because, you know, at my job, you're doing art all day long and you turn it in, nobody cares and right, whatever, you know, get a paycheck. But mm -hmm. you don't get that 
I don't know, heartfelt, like uh, making somebody cry. That's always a win. Um, well, it so. is not always a win, yeah. but in this case, <laughs> yes. I think it was a good cry. But it's, it's kind of funny because I'm working on these drawings and at the end I'm like, ah, wish I had done this or wish I had done that. And, you know, I just won't look at this part, you know, whatever. But then you give it away and maybe they'll, maybe they'll enjoy it. And then, yeah, it turns out they do. And that was mm -hmm. a fun thing to remember. Um, so the, the thing that led to all of that was I wanted to make a video out of it. I don't know if I will or won't, or at least... I don't think I'm going to right now, but I do have a bunch of footage. I might end up cutting it up at some point, but it feels like the kind of thing that would make a good video. Well, it might happen. You, on the other hand, I, I get to Portland and I think it was the first day and you're, everyone is downloading your app from the app store. Yeah. So I, on the podcast, we talked about this at length and I had set this big goal to, go super hard hard as i could for two months two and a half months whatever our timeline was and release something by the end of it and i did not and it took me up until literally the day that you all got here to get it released uh, and well of course that was my fault i could have planned better and been more realistic about certain things but there was just some stuff i did not anticipate like how much legal stuff would have to take place and anyway wound up i i did i did not want to see you in person or really see anyone and talk more about how i'm working on something and i'm gonna get it released soon i just hated having to say that so i got it out it was uh like everything more work than i realized but I'm extremely happy that I was able to create something in not quite as short of a time span as I wanted, but still pretty short. And I felt like I kind of achieved like productivity nirvana for a little while there where I was just so really us, firing all cylinders. The family arriving that affected you or, or that, was part of your decision to get it done. Like it was intentional for you to have it released before we got there. Yeah. I mean, I had, you know, we had the original goal and it kind of moved and it moved a few times, but with everyone coming and knowing that I wouldn't even have the chance to think about it for at least a week, it was like, if it doesn't get out before then, then it's who knows when it's going to be. And so I just really, really buckled down and tried to make that happen. And I did. Um, and it's, and, it's uh, gotten little, you know, people have been downloading it. Not, it's not exactly smash success at this point, but it's chugging along and I'm super happy about that. Okay. What's the name of it? So everyone can go download it. Well, okay. First off, one of the things I ran into with everybody downloading it and trying it out was that, everyone was like i don't know what this is i don't know how to use this so this is a uh nutrition tracking app it's designed for you to log the foods that you eat and keep track of like how many calories you've eaten and what your macros are and that sort of thing it, it's called food logger super food clever logger name. food logger yeah. yeah um and it's not extremely beginner friendly, which is something I encountered very sharply with people downloading it who had never used one of these things before. To be fair, that wasn't my design goal. I wasn't trying to develop it for somebody who's brand new. I was trying to develop it for people like me who are sick of the clunky, expensive other ones that are out there. Um, but that's that's what it is and that's who it's built for. And I'm working on updates to try and make it a little bit more beginner friendly. But if anybody, you know, wants a alternative to my fitness pal or my net diary or chronometer, one of those and wants to try it out, please do. Well, I am, I'm proud of you for getting it done. Good Thank job. You. And if you hadn't got it done, I probably would have been pretty annoying to you while I was there bugging you about. That was it. part of the motivation is to avoid the lecture from you. I'm glad that I have that kind of effect on people. Yeah. Uh, good job. 
now that that is out, I assume you'll be spending a lot of time making corrections, making it better, updates, and all that. Is that pretty much where your focus is now? Well, now that I'm able to reflect a bit on how things went with our like our big goal and being super focused on it. Even though I didn't get it done in the timeline I originally proposed, um, I, I did get something, I think, something I'm really happy with built in a very short period of time. And I felt so... I, I got to a point where working on it for many, many hours a day felt fantastic. It just, I was sleeping well and thinking clearly and operating at ex in, in the right frame of mind where I could focus intently on something and get it done, but then also kind of pull back and understand the big picture and not get too sucked into certain issues. I just felt like I was really doing the best work that I could do. And I'm not in that place right now. I actually kind of... A little bit in Waluigi mode right now. Not awful, oh, but not great. <laughs> um, and so there's, you know, there's still things to try and figure out. But I, looking back at it, I feel like I got myself into a really good place. Maybe not totally sustainable but it felt great and i want to i'm kind of thinking about the next cycle which is probably from now until the end of the year like christmas time so i'm trying to figure out what the shape of that is going to look like and i'd like to do something similar maybe not quite as intense but you know somewhere some some setup or some plan where i can get really focused again and do some really good work and I think that part of that was the novelty of the project where it was new and it was exciting and I could just kind of start fresh and build from scratch. Um, so I've been thinking about other projects, but at the same time, I want to put a lot more work into Food Logger and start building some of the features that I still need to be there and, and fix some of the issues that are in the app. So I'm trying to... Think about how I could do something novel and interesting and exciting and like really build up that energy and kind of get me into that state of focus, but then also incorporate some things that are like not quite as exciting, but still important. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to be. So I'm, I'm hoping to like mix those things together somehow. Okay, cool. So you are, you're not operating, uh, on your highest level right now i am operating right. i wouldn't say on the lowest level but closer to the lowest than the highest okay that is exactly how i would describe myself <laughs> okay. too uh so i'm happy to hear you say that i'm also it's funny that you you say you want to figure out something by the end of the year thinking about that next segment of the yeah. year that was exactly what i thought about too i'm I'll talk about me for a second. I am also in that, that place of, oh, God, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. uh, I have I, I've been binge-watching House. Oh, uh, I know you just finished it somewhat recently. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm on season eight, a couple episodes <laughs> in. I'm almost done with it. So for okay. the last two months or so, maybe a little longer, I've been, at first, you know, I just sat down one night. I was thinking, oh, I haven't seen a house in a while. I just want to watch something. I'll just watch the pilot real quick. That's it. And then before I know it, my whole life has been uprooted. And last night I'm up till 3.30, 4 o'clock yeah. or something on my sixth episode or whatever. But <laughs> I d Let me just say that my arc has been extremely similar. I uh, <laughs> got an invite from a friend to a new game called Deadlock. And I thought, hey... Can you still hear me? Yes. Okay, sorry. My phone started playing audio through my headphones and it was very confusing. Um, I got an invite from a friend to this new game, Deadlock, and I thought, 
I'll check it out. I'm not really in the mood for a new game or anything. Just see how it is. And I'm like 110 hours into it now. And I only got invited a few weeks ago. And everything else in my life has just sort of become not so important to me anymore. Including sleep and everything. So anyway, very similar arc to you. Go ahead. Okay, perfect. This is great. Because I was expecting you to just be still in your... Nope, nope. Everything's great. Okay, this is perfect. Uh, so, well, everything else that's been affected by me watching House is my schedule routine and drawing and all the things that I wanted to do, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, that, I was talking to you about my plans for my art stuff. Um, and I'm excited about that idea. And yet I haven't really touched it at all. Or hardly at all. And I've had some good weeks and some bad weeks or whatever over the last three months or so but i've realized that oh yeah i'm just full waluigi mode which is a thing that we talked about a while ago where it's basically the bad version of your good self right <laughs> so it's instead of being ambitious for all the good things that you want to achieve in life you're ambitious <laughs> to just destroy everything yeah. and yeah. uh so i've come to the conclusion that okay i'm going to finish house because I have found that with binge watching stuff for me, it's best to just burn it out. You just got you got to get to the finish line. There's no, you can't let go. There's no there's no sense in fighting it. Just just finish it. Yeah, but so, at least there's an I'm end done. to house. That doesn't help me. There's no end to this PvP game. We'll figure something out. During the pandemic, I I watched all of The Walking Dead, and I did nothing else. I was just, I set up this little area in my office with the, the chair and the TV and everything. It was just, it's a I fun pandemic there. show. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So that was fun. Also a couple other shows. Anyway, I realized that I just have to, I just have to finish it. I can't find okay. it. So I'm almost done with house. When I'm done with that, I have made some vows <laughs> and I think that I need, I need a hard reset on, on things. Okay. Um, it's not just house. It's also Instagram and YouTube and even TikTok. Okay. Oh, Cause I God. started posting on TikTok and yeah, I've watched it sometimes. And so I'm, I'm going to say no to all of those. I'm not going to worry about making reels or videos. That's why I'm not making the YouTube video on the Portland trip. I don't want to touch any social media at all period until the end of the year. So I, I'm just okay. doing a hard, hard reset. There, will, the TV will be unplugged. There will be no more TV, wow. no more anything. And I, I think, I think that'll do it. Um, so I think that that will help me. Cold turkey it. I also. So, we had a, or I have my office, and then, we have a guest room upstairs. I have converted the guest room just yesterday. I've converted the guest room to be my drawing sanctuary. So it, my next project, instead of a painting, it's going to be, at, well, as of right now, hopefully, the, the plan is to make a sketchbook or make like a little locally printed book of yeah. sketches. So that's what I'll be doing instead of a painting. I have converted the upstairs guest room and I moved my drawing desk up there, all relevant books and everything to do with that stuff is up there and nothing else. And it's pretty cool. And I haven't done a single bit of drawing in it yet, <laughs> but I'm kind of excited about it. And I, there's a couple other reasons why, like I have to start practicing music again. So I need my keyboard downstairs cause I have to move it back and forth, whatever. Uh, so anyway, I'm making some environment changes that uh, are pretty exciting. And then I think weeding out all of the enormous amounts of distractions will will help me. Uh, what do you plan to do? Well, I don't know. I'm, I plan to make a plan, I guess. Here's what sucks. The... <laughs> This just feels like a fundamental bad thing that exists, which is I worked really hard for a pretty long period of time and it felt great. 
and I loved it. But I I wanted a break. And I I you know I worked hard right up until you and the whole family got here. And so there was a, a week plus of just not thinking about anything else. Lots of people here trying to plan events and, you know, posts and all that stuff, right? And so that was awesome, and it was amazing having everyone here. Had an amazing time, but exhausting, of course. And so I get done with that, and I'm like, I want I want to just chill for a week. I don't want to work on stuff. I don't want to anything. I don't want to entertain anybody. I don't even want to talk to my wife. I just want to tunnel into a different world and just be gone and so i did for a week and i don't it was great i don't regret it at all taking a week off of interacting with other humans or working on anything that's even modestly important to me was wonderful and i highly recommend it but the problem was that at the end of that week it's like i can't just flip the switch back to okay go back to work it's like all my habits are gone. All the stuff that I just expected to be there when I got back isn't there. And I go to sit down to try and focus and get back into what I was working on. It's like, how does this stuff even work? How do you think about one thing for 10 minutes at a time? That feels impossible. Like my brain just adapted to nonsense and I can't get it to flip back. Okay, my friends at work have pointed out it, they said it like a joke but it's very accurate and that every year around august ish area yeah. era i i do this where i just kind of crumble and i stop <laughs> you know i mm -hmm. i stop being productive i stop talking about all my ambitious plans whatever usually i take a week off of work and just focus on art stuff or, or whatever and and i just Every year around August, I have some sort of breakdown. Not not an actual mental breakdown, but some sort of just yeah. giving up weird thing. And I th and then they have also suggested that maybe it's just part of the process. Maybe it's just how I work. And that if you think about it like dominoes, okay? You spend all this time setting them up. Not the real game of dominoes. But you, you set them <laughs> right. all up and you make this really cool thing. And that's you in your super productive, you making an app, everything feels wonderful phase. But at some point, you have to push them over. You, th that's kind of the fun part, is pushing them over and seeing them all fall down. And it actually feels really good to finally dig into that game or binge watch that TV show. And you just watch them all fall down. But then after a little while, you realize, man, that was really cool. And, and you sit there and you keep sitting there and you realize, oh, I have to clean all of these dominoes up in <laughs> yeah. order to do it again. And that part is not fun at all. But maybe it's just kind of part of the process. And maybe we will always, for the rest of our lives, be super ambitious and productive and focused and feel really great. And then we'll push over all the dominoes, watch them all fall, and then enjoy that because it's really thrilling. And then we got to clean them up again. And maybe that's just part of it. And just like this break from the podcast, we could have just uh, not felt bad about it and just been <laughs> totally cool with the fact that we weren't doing it. But instead, we felt guilty about it yeah. until I realized, until I noticed the trend. All right, I saw the pattern that yeah. we did the same thing last year. That was kind of eye opening. But I, wow. I think maybe this is just, this is just how it works. You don't that's, have to be perfect all the time. That's actually very insightful. That's a good, a good metaphor. I think you might, might have something. I would definitely like to emphasize that the cleaning up of the dominoes part sucks and i don't oh, want yeah. to do it but i also don't want it to take months because i do believe that there are choices that you can make and they do have consequences and if i were to 
not get things back together that could really disrupt my plans for my own interests and things that I care about. So I, I like well, acknowledging the, maybe the natural cycles, maybe this is how it's supposed to work. And I think the thing I want to prioritize is not dragging out the cleaning up the dominoes for a long time. Okay. Well, what I'm doing is I realize that I'm looking at the mess. And I've started to, you know, I grabbed a mm -hmm. container to put the dominoes in. I haven't started really picking them up yet. Yeah. And I'm, I'm okay with that. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. I am not done with my show yet. I haven't watched, well, I have seen it before, but I haven't finished watching House yet. I've got about a week left. Okay. So I'm going to continue burning everything down for another week. And I'm kind of okay with it and i'm starting to get a little bit excited about cleaning things up and having a clean place mm -hmm. again and getting back on track and all that so i'm putting things in place and i'm taking it slow and so how about we plan for about a week okay i'm i'm burning out this tv tv show for about another week and then after that it is i'm taking the vows of no more okay. social media stuff and i'm not i i really want to sink back into only art and not thinking about websites and yeah. whatever. I just, I just want to think about art and that's it. And you, you mentioned your sketchbook idea. Let's not talk about it today, but maybe next week you, you explained a little bit about that plan to me when you were here. So that might be a fun thing to talk through uh, next podcast. I, but in, in general, I think it would I be good agree. for you. Yeah. Um, okay. So I will do that. I am going to plan on another week of garbage and then mm -hmm. next week I will say out loud what my plan is for the next few months and what the rules are going to be for me and life and how I'm going to deal with, you know, not playing yeah. deadlock for 12 hours a day and that kind of thing. So for the next week, first off, that I think that's a good plan. Okay. For the next week, enjoy it. Just okay. enjoy the, the binging the deadlock. And I'm going to enjoy watching House and staying up way too late and okay. being tired all day long <laughs> tomorrow and for the rest of the week. Yeah. Because when it's over, it's going to be over and we're going to get back to work. Okay. And we're going to figure it out. But until then... I don't want to feel guilty and I don't think you should too. Let's just. Okay. I like that. Let's just be lazy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, we're back. Hi everybody. 